Firstly, I just want to give you an opportunity live here on Bloomberg Television to respond to these damning allegations about accounting irregularities. Well, I think if you look at the DNA of, of Capitec, we've always been proud to be transparent and to um, explain everything in, in detail. And you can see it on our financial results. Uh, We've spent an um, awesome amount of time in the last 17 years spending on a relationship with the media, um, with the asset managers, etc. We've uh, always been open. People can talk to us. Um, people can ask us questions. If we don't, haven't got an answer, uh, we'll come back immediately. Uh, so we've been always been very open and transparent. So it's uh, quite, I would say, frustrating that uh, somebody like Viceroy published a report. Uh, we've studied the report. Um, during the day and there's a lot of inaccurate facts in the report um, and um, they publish that without our input um, and that you can have um, the other side um, to the story uh, so it's a very we find it very one-sided and very inaccurate the shares fell as much as 25 percent they've rebounded to register a drop of almost three percent that's the stock market reaction can you tell us about the customer reaction has there been an unusual amount of withdrawals today from your customers have you seen any acceleration in withdrawals today from the bank uh, we've communicated to our branches uh, from early um, this morning. I think what helped us quite a lot was the statement of the South African Reserve Bank uh, supporting Capitec um, and saying there's no um, problems with Capitec. Uh, so we've communicated that with our branches. We've communicated to our retail deposit people. We send them SMSs. So we've seen a fairly normal day. We saw quite a lot of inquiries, um, but business as usual. Have you consulted lawyers, Jerry? Are you considering perhaps suing Viceroy? Uh, we have uh, instructed our attorneys to lodge a complaint with the FSB, uh, so that is in its way. Uh, so we're definitely taking that route. Uh, but at this stage, all our attention was focused uh, to communicating to our stakeholders. Um, so we spent quite a lot of time on that uh, today, and we will continue doing that uh, in the next couple of days. You say there are factual inaccuracies in the report. Could you give us an example of one or two? Well, we've done um, reconciliations. Uh, they're talking of a two, uh, two and a half to three billion um, uh, shortage on our capital advanced. Uh, we've done reconciliations. Uh, we're not getting close to that um, uh, figure. We, uh, if we go through our financials, we reconcile it 100 uh, percent, and we think they've made certain errors in that. I think just to give you a simple example, I think we listeners will understand is they're making a statement that our average branch manager is getting a salary of 13,000 Rand, our average of our branch manager is 22,000 Rand. Uh, so I can mention quite a lot of things that is factually incorrect. Um, I think the other side is uh, they refer to certain court papers um, that clients has been exploited. Um, I don't know why they um, published uh, our side of the story, uh, our court papers. Um, because that gives you a completely different story. Um, so we see it as a lot of incorrect information and a one-sided uh, story. Have you, Mr. Forey, assuaged all the concerns that your major shareholders have aired to you today? We, uh, we were in touch with uh, PSG, that's our major shareholder. They've got about a 33% shareholding on, on us. They actually brought out a sense uh, report um, later this afternoon, uh, supporting us 100%. We now at 4 o'clock uh, had over 200 um, analysts and asset managers on the telephone, locally as well as internationally. Uh, and we've stated uh, to them um, the facts and figures and the way we see it. So we We've been communicating to ourselves uh, and then we brought out a whole media statement on the so-called eight questions uh, that uh, Viceroy is asking. Do you think you could publish your full year results before the scheduled date on March the 27th to allay some fears out there? 
Uh, no, uh, and it's simple. Our year end is 28 uh, February. Uh, we're very proud that we publish our results within a three week uh, period. I think uh, for top 40 uh, listed companies in South Africa to publish your results within a month uh, is an extraordinary performance. So we'll stick to our 27th of March uh, we'll, where we'll bring out our results. Mr. Forey, just a final question. In the wake of today and in the wake of what's been happening at Steinoff, what do these events do to the integrity, and you've denied everything that's been said, what do they do to the reputation of the South African business community? Well, uh, I said it uh, to the analyst and I also said it to the media earlier. Uh, I'm very concerned that a company can make uh, statements and it's got an effect on ourselves. It's got an effect uh, on other, other companies, other banks. Uh, of course, in South Africa, I think uh, what we need to focus on now currently is on, on growth. Uh, there's some positive things that's happened and I think uh, that's where our energy um, should be. So um, that for me is the most important.